been a busy morning in the football spy office, which is why we're a bit later than normal. I've been at the Tottenham press conference at which Eilig Johnson was confirmed as the latest signing on loan until the end of the season. Harry Redknapp's also confirmed that the Spartak Moscow keeper Steep Platikosa is expected at the club to see if something can be worked at the weekend, uh, having a look at his fitness. And uh, he's ruled out any chance of West Ham succeeding with a loan bid for David Bentley or Alan Hutton. Bad news for Arsenal fans today. You've all been expecting players to come in, but I can tell you that right back Bakary Sanya is a target for Inter Milan. Uh, but good Good news for Manchester United fans with Leon set to take the midfielder Anderson off the hands of the Reds. Lots of other news to bring you uh, today from a very busy day. West Ham very interested in the Celtic midfielder Scott McDonald for around about a million pounds. Uh, I don't know if they'll get him for that. Uh, Portsmouth have re-signed the midfielder Jamie O'Hara on loan but they're still set to sell defender Eunice Kabul and keeper Asmir Begovic to Spurs. Also Portsmouth bid to steal the striker Benjani on loan. We told you about that yesterday. That's been hijacked by Sunderland and Benjani is now in talks with them over a permanent move. The Portuguese midfielder Manuel Fernandes, uh, remember him from Everton, he's on the verge of joining Inter Milan on loan from Valencia until the end of the season. The Middlesbrough uh, manager Gordon Strachan, he signed Celtic defender Stephen McManus on loan until the end of the season. But Borough have rejected a £5 million bid from Manchester City for the winger Adam Johnson. They want closer to £9 million. They really are having a laugh. No way should City pay that much for a player who's out of contact contract at the end of the season. Now Burnley, they've completed the signing of the Celtic left back Danny Fox for an undisclosed fee. Newcastle have signed QPR defender uh, Fitz Hall on loan until the end of the season. And Newcastle have been very, very busy over the last 48 hours. They have confirmed the signing of the 19-year-old, the highly rated 19-year-old Dutch left-back Patrick van Aanholt from Chelsea on a month's loan deal. Our man up in Newcastle tells us that they're actively trying to sign the exciting young striker at Crystal Palace, Victor Moses. And Newcastle are rivaling Stoke for the signing of a player called Eric Huskalep. He's a 25-year-old Norwegian attacking midfielder and he's rated as one of the best players in Scandinavia. Rangers have agreed a fee with Sporting Lisbon for the sale of the midfielder Pedro Mendes. He wants to go back to Portugal. Now, no papers today as we're going to stick with all of the rolling news coming out of the clubs today. And here is one from our very own Mirror Football website because uh, all of you know already that Birmingham want to sign the Spurs striker Roman Pavlyuchenko, but Spurs also want uh, £13 million for Pavlyuchenko, even though he can't get into their side. Well, now Birmingham are looking at some other irons that they've got in the fire. Uh, one of them is a striker who plays in Argentina. His name is Mara Baselli, he's 24. And and he scored 32 goals last season for Estudiantes. He's a very, very good player. He also scored for his previous club, Boca Juniors, in 2004 at Old Trafford in a pre-season game. Birmingham have bid £9 million for him, but Estudiantes were closer to £11 million. Of course, we'll keep you informed on the progress of that particular deal on the Mirror Football website. Now, a story for all of you fans of my club, Liverpool. The word is that Juventus want Rafa Benitez to replace their struggling manager, Chiro Ferrara. Well, it's been confirmed today that Juve have sacked Ferrara and have replaced him with Alberto Zaccaroni until the end of the season. So we can expect a will-he-won't-he -he saga centering around Benitez for the next five months. <laughs> Yes, competition time, and we've had lots of entries in our competition for the boots. Got them down here. The question is, if you want to enter, very simple indeed. We want to know who you think will be the most expensive signing of the transfer window. The competition ends this coming Monday, February the 1st at 5 p.m. to coincide with the transfer window closing. Who do you think will be the most expensive signing by then? You don't have to tell us what club they will go to, but just tell us how much you think they'll go for uh, and the one who gets it right. And obviously, if we pick you, you win the prize. Remember, of course, to include your boot size. You already know how to enter by now, post on YouTube or email us at spy at mirror.co.uk. I'm looking at your entries, uh, lots of them coming in. Shush thinks it will be Ryan Babel. Uh, M4D Method thinks it will be Chris Smalling. He's gone to Manchester United for a combined total of £12 million. Some wishful thinking from Bad Half, he thinks it's going to be Eden Zeko to Arsenal. And some good thinking from EFTC Tom, who thinks it will be Eunice Kabul. That deal still being completed. Uh, keep them all coming. The winner will 
will be announced on Monday. Now, picture timer. This is Helmi from Singapore. I think he needs a new camera because the quality of this picture isn't great. But he's emailed in uh, to say, Hello, Darren, and to the Football Spy personnel. First and foremost, I'd like to tell you guys I love the Football Spy news. I'm from Singapore. I please hope I win the competition. I think the most expensive genuine transfer will be Adam Johnson. My boot size is number nine. That's the way to do it. He says it. P.S. I also attached a photo of me in my country, Singapore, at the Esplanade beside a bin because my country has the cleanest airports in the world and also uh, the government find those uh, fine heavily those who litter uh, that's what that's told us uh, by the way I'm a Manchester United fan please please read my email on your football spy show well we've just read your email on our football spy show uh, let's do some of your messages as well. To Clazy, Liverpool have offered a three-year deal to the standardly aged striker Marco Milan, I should say, Jovanovic. We already talked about him earlier in the week, but they're also keen to get an, a right-back before the window closes on Monday. To Dillian, we're hearing lots of rumours suggesting Everton have signed a free contract with the lead striker Jermaine Beckford to sign him in the summer. Everton also hopeful that Louis Saha will sign a new deal when his contract runs out in July. Uh, and to Marik Ashi asking about the striker Robert Lewandowski. For those of you who don't know, he's a highly rated Poland international. He's 21, Fulham and Celtic very keen indeed. But his club Lech Poznan say that he won't be sold this month as he is their star striker and they can't get a replacement in. Uh, now, the Poznan president has said uh, that there is a gentleman's agreement that if a good offer comes in in the summer, then the club will not stand in his way. Now, before we go, I want to tell you, well, I want you to tell me who you think will win on Sunday and why. No prizes, I'm just interested in getting your views. Arsenal against Manchester United, it's going to be a huge game. Who do you think will win? I think it will be United, they're on fire right now, and Rooney is indeed unstoppable. So let me know what you think. There are four instalments of Football Spy on Monday. It's 9am, 12pm, 3pm and 5 30 p.m. It's going to be a really long day, but I'll be here. Patrick will be here with me too. So will Tarby. Uh, make sure you join us then.